Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today we're making surf and turf on this blazing hot infrared grill. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. Today we're making that Steakhouse Classic Surf and Turf. Right over here I have two beautiful prime ribeye steaks. And take a look at those. I just want to thank my friends at Standard Meats out of Texas, the Dallas area, for sending me these great steaks. Look, they don't sell retail, but they do sell to some of the finest steakhouses across the country. I'm really proud to be friends with these guys, a good family owned business, and uh, I really appreciate these steaks. So this one has not been seasoned. This one has been seasoned for one hour. It's been seasoned with our Redmond salt, pepper, garlic. We've done experiments in the past where we have determined that salting your steak at least one hour prior to cooking creates the most flavorful steak. And that's exactly what we've done here. This has been seasoned for over an hour. Now, the one thing that you guys might know is this brand new grill. That's right, our friends at Blazing Bull sent this to us. It's not a paid post. Look, they sent us this, they asked us to try it out. We did, and look, we really like this grill. Matter of fact, we love it. Not only does it cook steaks, but it can be used for a number of other things. And that's why we broke out the shrimp. Why the shrimp? Because we've cooked shrimp on this already, and we know they turn out absolutely incredible. They also sent me this pizza stone right here, as well as this pizza peel, I believe it's called. I'll be using this for pizzas not only here, but I'll be using this like a big spatula on my grills. Thanks a lot, Blazing Bull. Really appreciate everything. Okay, before we fire up this grill, I just wanna share a couple different components and talk a little bit more about how this works. First of all, it has a lever on the other side that you can use to raise or lower this grill grate right here, and it comes right out. The other thing that they have right here is this drip pan. So you can move that in conjunction with the grill grate. It will catch all the amazing drippings from the steak as it cooks. You can throw some butter down there, some fresh herbs in there, and use that to actually coat your steak. In terms of starting it, it's pretty easy. It's connected to a propane tank. Then you just press this down and hit this button right here, and it fires right up. But Another really cool feature about this grill is it's portable. So if you're heading over to that Super Bowl party or that backyard barbecue and you wanna show off your amazing steaks, you can literally carry this with you. It even comes with an attachment for a smaller portable propane tank. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. I'm gonna let this heat for five minutes and then we're gonna throw the food on. All right guys, this grill has been heating up for about five minutes. I mean, look, you can feel it all over the place. This thing is blazing hot, 1500 degrees hot. Most of you guys have never even felt a grill that gets that hot. It's really something special. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw this steak on. Oh, love that sound. Push it back in. Now I'm gonna raise this up to a level one. Now we're gonna let it cook there for about 45 seconds and it's gonna get a great crust on it. Then we're gonna pull it down whip it and repeat for another 45 seconds. Once it hits that 45 second mark, I'm gonna reduce it down to a level three on the settings on the side, and we're gonna let it cook there until it reaches a perfect medium rare temperature. So while this thing is cooking, I wanna let you know that the thing that sets this thing apart is the fact that it's infrared heat. That heat really acts like more of a laser as it attacks that food versus a traditional grill, which is more of a flashlight and spreads that heat all around the steak as it cooks. So this is very focused heat, blazing hot. It gets hot super fast. I don't have to wait 30 minutes for the grill. This thing just goes within five minutes. Okay, so it's seared there for another 45 seconds. I'm gonna let it cook at this level here for another couple of minutes, but take a look at this again, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and reach in there just so you can see blazing hot, blazing hot. Look at all that fat from that prime steak just sizzling. And I can even pull it outside of the grill and it just keeps on sizzling. That's how much that heat transfers while it cooks. 
All right, so I flipped it over. I let it cook for one more minute. Hit the internal temperature of about 135 degrees. Nice, medium rare. I'm gonna let that go ahead and cool down. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of butter. I'm gonna throw it down here in this pan. I'm gonna throw in just a couple of fresh herbs from our garden. Oh, a little bit of uh, basil right there like that, a little bit of oregano. And then this is the really neat part. Look, I mean, for these shrimp are only going to take under two minutes to get totally cooked. Listen to that sear, listen to that sear. Forgot to season them, frankly, guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that while it's on, get it on, better late than never. We do this in real time and we are authentic with you guys. We're gonna close that up. I'm gonna raise that up to that level one. You can see that butter get nice and melty down there that mixed in with some of that steak fat. That's gonna be delicious. Those have been cooking for one minute. We're gonna go ahead and drop those down. We're gonna flip them over, let that other side get nice and hot, raise it up, leave it there for one more minute. And then we're gonna throw the shrimp in that butter herby mixture at the bottom. All right, those have been cooking for one minute. I just lowered it and I'm just gonna take and pull those guys right on here into the herby butter. It's like that. You can see they have some really nice color on them. Look at that right there. Excellent color, and I did this in under two minutes. I'm gonna let those the shrimp mix in with some of that nice herby butter. Now that's how we do surf and turf. And this whole meal was done on the same grill in under probably six minutes from beginning to end. Now I'm gonna clean up a little bit and let's cut open the steak and see how it all tastes. All right, guys, now it's time for my favorite part, the taste test. Let's cut it open and see how it looks. I would say we actually achieved a little closer to a medium. I'm still learning how to cook on this thing. Now, the interesting thing about the ribeye is it has a couple of different parts. If you're in a steak competition, this is how they're gonna cut it up to uh, for judging on internal temperature. But where they're actually gonna require you to eat is from that spinalis part. That's on the exterior of the ribeye. And it's one of the most flavorful and desired cuts of meat anywhere on the cow. So let's go ahead and get a little bit. Wow, it's tender and that crust is just like I would find in a steakhouse. As a matter of fact, I have found it in a steakhouse, one in Chicago that we're gonna show you on our Meet America show. He uses this same technology in his kitchen. Let's try a bite over here from the eye section. That is so good. Mm. Now I love that little butter tray. I think that's such a nice feature. It doubles as a drip pan and we're getting some of that nice buttery flavor, some of the richness from those herbs that I dropped in there. Now take a look at these shrimp right here. Great color, again, done in under two minutes. Two minutes, beginning to end. Now one of the hardest parts about getting a good crust on shrimp like this one has is making sure that those shrimp are really dry before you put them on a cooking surface. Because this thing gets so hot, all that moisture evaporates instantly and you're left with that, I mean, just incredible texture on the outside of the shrimp. As you can see, they're totally cooked end to end. We got the salt, pepper, garlic on there mixed in with some of that butter and herbs. And again, look at the color right there on that steak. I'll pick it up so you guys can see it. A nice medium temperature. It has a, I'd say a warm pink center. If you guys are looking to turn up the tasty right at home and make steakhouse quality steaks right in your own backyard, well, there's no easier way to do it than with this blazing bull infrared grill. We like this so much, you're gonna be seeing more of this on our channel. I wanna thank our friends at Blazing Bull for sending us this awesome piece of technology. Also, if you guys like this video, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up like button, or even better, subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss an adventure as we turn up the tasty every single week. I'm gonna get back to the steak, but I'll see you guys soon.